Kerbal Space Program 2 is right around the corner. Right here, we're going to take a look at the new Kerbal Star System. The star system then is the exact same star system from the original game, however now it's been rebuilt with improved graphics. So in this video, I want to walk around the entire star system to give you some insight into the planets themselves. We're starting there with the Kerbal, of course, the central star, and moving out to the first world within the system. Now, everything you're looking at here was recorded on the game map screen. It means, for the most part, we're observing the worlds from a distance, but for a few locations I was able to get up very close. EVE is one such example. I did do a full orbit of this world and even managed to land down on its surface through those thick, wonderful clouds and plopping down into those watery oceans. Now, I mentioned in the previous video that most of the worlds in KSP2 now come with their very own and unique soundtrack. We've got the soundtrack for EVE playing in the background. It is absolutely gorgeous, a really impressive piece of work. And whilst I didn't hear the soundtrack for all the worlds, the few I did hear were of equal quality. Unfortunately though, I didn't get the opportunity to get up close and personal around every single planet. And the reason for that is the PlayStation itself was comparatively pretty short. I had to run about two and a half, maybe three hours uh, of time with KSP2. And incidentally, the event itself was pretty nice. It took place at the European Space Agency over in the Netherlands. And all of that organised by a private division who arranged for both travel and accommodation. So uh, yeah, just something I really need to mention there. At any rate, moving on, we've had a look at Kerbin now, and we're now having a look at Mun. Mun is one of the ones I was able to get up close to, and I did a landing here. Uh, the rocket did tip over, as you could see, at the very last moment. Now, whilst the uh, planets look pretty nice from orbit, the worlds of the moons, all of them look good from a distance, in some cases, they sometimes leave a little bit desire to be desired, when down towards the surface. I'm not sure what your thoughts are there on what we saw on Moon. We can see a little bit of the scatter system there, the new scatter system, placing some of the rocks around, but we didn't get to see too many. I'll also point out that from the areas I saw at least, Eve felt pretty plain when I was down on the surface, but a large reason for that is because I kept landing down in the oceans and the water physics are just not fully enabled yet. Your craft don't bob up and down and it also seems to me that the water graphics effects are not fully enabled or fully finished off just yet either. At any rate, moving on, you'll notice that the planets with an atmosphere look absolutely gorgeous from this type of distance, so yet they looked very nice from both the map screen as well as up in orbit. But you may have noticed there's some a bit of, well, a little bit of graphical inconsistency with some of the worlds, with some parts of the worlds looking at pretty high resolution in terms of texture, but other parts looking a little bit lower in terms of that texture resolution. Something I'm going to need more time to have a true look at and get a bit of a more uh, close-up look at things so we can really get in there and analyse what's going on with those planetary graphics. But for now, I think generally speaking, they are much improved, but they do need some further improvement, at least in certain areas. Now, moving on to gameplay. We do have the usual regular type of gameplay of course with Kerbal Space Program and getting out to the planets is an activity in and of itself. Keep in mind that early access won't have science unlocks just yet, that's something that's coming down the line, we don't know at what point yet, could be quite a way away, could be pretty close, we don't yet know. In the meantime it's all about getting to the planets. With that in mind then, the developers have said they want to give players a very real reason to go to every single planet within the game. And this largely means that there should be something to discover, maybe multiple things to discover, on every single planet. Now details on this were very light, the developers just wouldn't be drawn on what those things would be. And I suspect that's largely because they want players to actually go out there and discover it from themselves, rather than actually be spoiled ahead of time. So yeah, I really do hope that exploration is a central theme for KSP2. And by exploration, I don't just mean the ability to head out to a planet and land there, but also to actually find something when there. We'll have to see how that goes. Final planet is Joel, and for some reason I didn't record this without the UI, so you'd have to take a look at it there with the UI unfortunately, but still good enough to get a bit of a feel for what that's all about. 
So there we have it, a full tour of the Kerbalt star system. Also, linked on the screen right now, you can see a previous video where I go into some depth on my thoughts and impressions on the KSP2 preview build that I had access to. So if you haven't seen that yet, do check it out. It should be well worth a look. I do go into a lot of detail there and have a look at a variety of different aspects of the game. So check it out now. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.